Hey gang, and welcome to Biology Online. And I'm going to take a moment and run through how to use Canvas. So one of the first things you'll need to do is you can go to the MGCCC website. You can uh, click on My Gov Coast, and there'll be a link to Canvas. You can use that with your M number and your password to sign in and open up Canvas. Canvas is our online learning tool, and it's where all of the information, at least for my class, is going to be posted. I use Canvas for everything so you're going to be coming here a lot um, so once you get logged in it'll show the courses that you are taking uh, in these little uh, uh, squares these are called shells so mine will look a little different from yours because these are the classes that I teach. Uh, each teacher can set up their own uh, uh, little images and whatnot for you to see. Uh, you can tell that obviously I went with a theme. I chose Avatar The Last Airbender this year. Last year I think I chose um, Jurassic World. The year before that was Harry Potter. The year before that was Star Wars. I do different things for different years so it'll keep on going. Um, but I can kind of help you get started in setting it up. So one of the first things you may notice is that uh, at, across from dashboard, there are these three little dots, as well as each canvas shell has its own little three little dots. If you want to come up here into uh, these three, uh, click on those. It gives you a couple different options. One of the options is called color overlay. If I click it, it overlays the color I chose for the course uh, over the entire image. Um, I don't particularly like this since I use GIF images uh, uh, on each shell. So this is where I can actually come to turn that off. So if you want to turn off your cover overlay, color overlay, you can you can do so right there. Um, also, each individual canvas shell has its own three little dots. So let's say I'm just going to go to the first one here. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to click on it. It gives you a couple of options. First of all, you can choose the color you want to use uh, to represent that course. Um, uh, this color is important because when you click on calendars, anything with a due date will show up on calendar in the color you chose for that course. So it's a good way to, for if you, if you like color coding things, then this would be a great way to help keep up with, with what to do when just by using colors. You can choose your color, but you can also give your course a nickname. You, in, in the standard naming system has a lot, it's, it's big, it's boring, has a lot of letters and numbers and, and technical information in it. I just tend to call this biology. So um, for this particular one, I call this Bio 1 Online. For non-majors, I have just Bio 1 Online, Bio 1 8 Weeks, I have a Zoology and a Bio 1 Night class. So I give them those nicknames. Once you do that, you'll hit Apply. I've already done that, so I'm going to exit out. And you'll see that it'll update the color and it'll update the name of the course. So that way you can you know, very easily click on and reference it. Uh, the other big thing that we're going to cover, uh, well, once, once you've done that, you can now click in and go into the class. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, uh, but this at least should help get you kind of started on the class. Before we uh, click on any classes though, I wanted to show you how to set up a profile picture simply because one of my first quizzes is for you to put a profile pic up on Canvas. You're not uploading it separately, you're actually just putting it on Canvas. So you see up here in the corner how I have a, a image of me in the little circle. If you don't have a profile pic, it'll just be a gray silhouette. But the way you would change this is you're going to click on this image, Come down to where it says settings, give it a click. Oh, and this opens up a whole other area for you to, to play with, right? So in order to put a profile pic, you'll mouse over the little circle next to your name and it has a little pencil that pops up for editing and it says click to change profile pic. So you'll click on this and it's gonna give you a little pop-up screen that says, okay, do you wanna upload a pic? Do you wanna pick a pic? Like, how do you wanna do this? Um, I know there are some differences between the app versus the website. Um, the easiest way I think you should be able to do this is usually from a personal computer, go in on the website, edit it just like I'm doing it now. Uh, you can upload a clear face pic of yourself. The one requirement I have for the quiz is that I have to be able to see your face. Having a football helmet over your face means I can't see your face, so I'm not going to give you credit. I've got to be able to see who you are. Um, this is so that I can start identifying uh, and putting faces with names so I can get to know you guys a little bit better. I do the same with mine. I've already got a profile pick up. Um, so I, once you put it in there, hit save, uh, and it, after just a moment or two, you should see your profile pick come up. 
while we're in here, if you need to edit the information like your contact information, uh, this is where you'd also do that. Uh, you can edit the settings for things like your email address. Um, right now I've got it set to my Gulf Coast address, so this is where all email addresses go through. I can also add a personal email address in case I don't check the Gulf Coast one that often. So that way any information going through Canvas, i.e. announcements, uh, will be sent to your personal email address. You can also add your phone number so that way you can get text messages. Um, I've had kind of hit and miss success with the texting ability for Canvas, um, but it generally does really well with the emails. So this is where you can edit that. If you don't see it here on the side of your screen, it, it may be down below, especially if you're on a smartphone or a tablet, um, or if you've zoomed in too far with your computer, it just moves this area to the bottom. So it's on there, you just gotta look for it. Um, so let's go back to uh, desktop now. So once you've done that, you should now have a face pick up. So your profile pick quiz. Once I go through and check it, which I just kind of do so periodically, I just go to look to see as hey, does this person have a picture up yet? And then they do. I give them a 10 out of 10. Uh, so make sure you go through that. Now you should have nicknames for all of your classes. You should have your color overlay either on or off. You should be getting emails or text messages whenever information is sent out, and you should be on your way to a very successful use of Canvas in class.